Uh, today we are going to discuss about turning moment diagram and flywheel. Problems on turning moment diagram and flywheel. A three cylinder single acting engine has its crank set equal at 120 degree. So this is important point. So the cranks are set at 120 degree, right? So totally 360 degree out of 360 degree, it is set at 120 degree angle. It runs at 600 RPM. The torque crank angle diagram for each cycle is triangle. So the here, the torque crank angle diagram. So power is produced that is in the form of triangle. That is torque is produced in the form of triangle. Uh, that is varying from 90 Newton meter at 60 degree. It is from zero, it is going to 90 Newton meter at six, uh, 60 degree from the dead center of the corresponding crank. The torque on the return stroke is sensibly zero. It is zero. Determine power developed, coefficient of fluctuation of speed. If the mass of the flywheel is 12 kg and the radius of gear is 80 millimeter. Coefficient of fluctuation of energy and maximum angular acceleration of the flywheel. So these are all the data we need to calculate. So in this problem, first thing is here there are three cylinders. First, we will draw the turning moment diagram for one cylinder. One cylinder. What it says, a maximum torque of 90 Newton meter at 60 degree. So assume that one cylinder, it is starting at this point. It is starting at this point. It is reaching 90 Newton meter at 60 degree. At 60 degree. So here is 60 degree. It is reaching 90 Newton meter from the dead center of the ground. Then it is going to zero at 180 degree. It is going to zero at 180 degree. In case of here, it is uh, uh, told that single acting engine. In case of ice engines, we know two stroke, four stroke. So this is told single acting. What is meant by single acting? It is a steam engine. It is a steam engine. So steam engine means the cylinder will be like this. This is a piston. The steam is entering only uh, one way. In double acting steam engine, both the uh, side steam will be entering. But here, the steam is entering in only one direction. So the steam apply a force on the piston. And this is converted into torque. It is converted into torque. So torque is developed only during the one stroke. Return stroke, it is not, power is not produced. So one stroke is how many angle? 180 degree. 180 degree. So for one cylinder, 180 degree, the power is produced. The power is starting from 0 to 90. 98, 60 degree. After that, it is coming to 0. It is in the form of triangle. It is in the form of triangle. It is told. It is given in the problem. It is in the form of triangle. It is in the form of triangle. So the next, uh, for this cylinder, the next stroke is 0. Sensibly 0. It is 0. This is for one cylinder. Similarly, there are three cylinders. What is the crank angle difference? 180, 120 degree. So this is starting at 0. Another cylinder is starting at 20 degree. 120 degree. So it is the same manner it is going to 90 then it is coming to 0 at 360 degree. After that, after 180, next cylinder is starting at 240. The same way. Up to 360 degree, you have to take. After that, this one, you have to fit here. You have to fit here. Now, what is the uh, turning moment diagram combining all the three cylinders? It will be like this. It will be like this. Here it is starting at 45. And it is going to 90. Again, it is coming to 45. Again, it is going to 90. If you combine the three diagram, it will be coming like this. It will be coming like this. 45 to 90, 90 to 45, 45 to 90. The same way it will be. So here you can see, starts at this point, 90. Again, coming here. Again, coming here. So it is going like that. So here, our objective is to find delta E. 
we have to calculate all the things the first step is to calculate the delta e so before that let us calculate the power developed power developed so how to calculate the power developed what you have to do is first step is to calculate the the power developed by once uh, work done by one cylinder let us calculate work done by one cylinder how to calculate work done by one cylinder that is area of this triangle the area of the triangle is the power of one cylinder so how to calculate the area of triangle that is half into what is this angle this is 180 degree that is pi half into pi into height what is the value of height it is 90 so this is the work done of one cylinder i want for three cylinder so this will give the work done this will give the work done okay so now then the work done work done per cycle 360 degree that is equal to three cylinders three multiplied by half into pi into 90 this will give the work done how much what is the value it is 424 newton meter this is the work done so next step is we have to calculate the mean torque so here the size the torque is continuously varying so if this uh, the this torque is made into mean that is the this is developed torque so mean torque means there is a resistance offered to the system so we have to find the mean torque t mean how to calculate the mean torque so this is work done from the work done we can calculate the power if you want to calculate the power what is the equation power is equal to 2 pi nt by 60 here torque is continuously varying but we want mean torque t mean so how to calculate t mean so what is work done work done is equal to t mean multiplied by theta here what is theta theta is equal to 2 pi 360 degree from that you can find the value of t mean what is the value of t mean it is 67.5 newton meter but it is varying from 45 to 90 but average is 67.5 how to calculate so work done is equal to t mean into theta from that you can find the value of t mean so now you substitute the t mean here you substitute here 2 into pi into what is the n 600 into this 67.5 t mean multiplied divided by 60. If you put, you can find the power. What's the value of power? Power is equal to 4 to 4 0 watts. So this is a value. So next step is calculating the delta E. Next step is calculating the delta E. Delta E means uh, the last problem is like told. For example, you take this point at this point. This point and this point. So here the energy will be minimum because at this portion the torque we require torque is this require torque is this but torque produced is less than that. So flywheel uh, must uh, supply the energy to the engine. So in this portion the torque produced is more than the mean torque. So the energy will be stored in the flywheel. Energy will be stored. So at this portion the energy of the flywheel will be minimum. So here since the torque is more it will be supplied to the flywheel up to this point it will be supplied up to this point the torque produced is more than the mean so uh, torque is supplied to the so at this point the energy will be maximum at this point the energy will be minimum so the, if you take this is e1 and this is e2 what is delta e delta e is equal to e1 minus e2 so how to find delta e so area of this area of this area of this this will be the delta e similarly you can find this also whichever is maximum that you can take you can take this also but this will be lesser this will be more this three are equal this these are all equal so whichever is maximum that one you can take but in this problem these three are same so you take any one any one so now what is this this is 30 degree what is this this is 90 degree so then what is the base this is equal to 60 degree this is equal to 60 degree then what is this area delta e half into this is 60 degree 60 degree means it is 180 by 3 that is pi by 3 
multiplied by height. 90 minus 67.5. This height. 90 minus 67.5. This will give delta E. What is the value of delta E? It is 11.78 Newton meters delta E. So what do you have to calculate? Coefficients of fluctuation in speed. Coefficients of fluctuation in speed. What is the equation for uh, that? Delta E is equal to I into omega square into Cs. What is Cs? That is the coefficient of fluctuation in speed that you have to calculate. Now you substitute the value of I and omega and find the value of Cs. What is the value of I? Here, the mass of the flywheel is given 12 kg and radius of gyration is 80. Then mk square is the I. What is omega? 2 by n by 60. If you substitute here, what is delta E? Delta E is equal to 11.78. 11 11.78, 11 that is equal to I, mk square, mass of the flywheel into radius of gyration. It is given in millimeter, you substitute in meter, 0 0.08. I omega square, I uh, mk square, multiplied by omega square. Omega is 2 pi n. n is equal to how much? 600 divided by 60. The whole square in the CS. So that will give the CS. That will give the value of CS. CS is equal to 4 percentage. 4 percentage. In this equation, it will give 0 0.04 multiplied by 100. That, that will be the CS, 4 percentage. The next one is coefficient of fluctuation of energy. Coefficient of fluctuation of energy. Now, what is uh, coefficient of fluctuation of energy? That is CE. CE. How to calculate this? That is coefficient of fluctuation of energy is equal to delta E divided by work done, work done per cycle. That is a equation. What is delta E? 11.78. 11.78 divided by work done per cycle. That is 424. 424. If you calculate this, it will be 0 0.0278. If you put in percentage, it will be 2.78 percentage. So finally, you have to find the acceleration. Acceleration of the flywheel. When acceleration, the when flywheel will be accelerating, when target is more than the mean more than the mean it will be accelerating we want to calculate the maximum acceleration when it will be maximum acceleration so here the torque is maximum this is a mean torque this is a mean torque so this will be the uh, what is called excess torque or accelerating torque when torque is equal to this there will not be any acceleration but when at uh, different points, different targets there, different acceleration will be there. But we are interested in maximum acceleration. Maximum acceleration. So this is a maximum excess star. That is accelerating star. So how to calculate TA? TA is equal to T max minus T mean. That is equal to I into alpha. I into alpha. So TA. That is T max is 90. 90. Mean is how much mean? 67.5. 67.5. So this is a T mean. That is equal to I into alpha. What is I? I is equal to MK square. What is M? M is equal to 12. What is K? It is 80. So 0 0.08 square into alpha. So using this, you can find the value of alpha. Alpha is equal to 292 radian per second. So this is a way you got to solve this problem. And answers are given here. You can check. Now another problem. The equation of turning moment curve of three crank engine is 5000 plus 1500 sin theta, sin 3 theta. So here the target is given in terms of equation. In the previous problem, it was given triangle, but here it is in, given in the in the form of equation. If you draw sine curve, if you draw a sine curve, how it will vary? It will be varying like this. It will be varying like this. 
here this also sin curve sin 3 theta if you put sin theta instead of sin theta here it is sin 3 theta so the curve will go like this the moment of inertia of the flywheel is here i is directly given i is directly given 1000 kg meter square and the mean speed is 300 rpm speed is given 300 rpm you have to calculate the power maximum fluctuation in speed and for resistance torque is constant assume that resistance torque is constant and do calculate these two one is power another one is maximum uh, fluctuation in speed cs these are the two values you need to calculate so for that what you have to do what you have to do what you have to do is the curve is given curve is given so if you want to calculate the work done if you want to calculate the work done what you have to do see the curve is given here see you can see the curve so the curve is like this the turning moment curve is like this so how to find this how to find this in the problem it is given it is 5000 you take 5000 plus uh, 1500 sin 3 theta how to draw a curve for sin 3 theta sin 3 theta if you draw a curve for sin theta it will be like this it will be like this right what is this this is 180 degree that is phi it is phi for phi angle it will be going up after that it is going down up it will be going like this but in the place of that you have 3 theta so 3 theta is equal to phi so this angle this will be phi by 3 this will be phi by 3 if it is sine 3 theta if it is sine 3 theta the phi by 3 means what it is 60 degree for every 60 degree upward and downward curve is coming so it will be like this it will be like this so my interest is my interest is to uh, calculate the work done so that is the curve is like this i want to calculate area under the curve area under the curve if it is pi by 3 this is pi by 3 this is pi by 3 so this is one cycle 60 plus 60 plus 60 120 degree 120 degree is a one cycle so similarly if you take if you want to find the power if you want to find the power um, uh, first you have to find the work done if you want to find the work done you can take one cycle or two cycle or three cycle whatever it may be so finally while calculating the torque whatever angle you have taken you divide by that if you this is 120 degree this is 120 degree, this is 120 degree, means totally 360 degree totally 360 degree so three cycles so far so we are going to calculate work done for three cycles work done for three cycles how to calculate work done for this cycle the area under the curve you have to calculate that is the work done so how to calculate the area under the curve you must have studied integrating 0 to 2 pi i am calculating for 360 degree three cycles so otherwise you, if you are uh, you can calculate for 60 degree also nothing wrong because one cycle that's all but <coughs> anyway the answer will be same answer will be same 0 to 2 pi and uh, what is the equation this is the target equation 5000 plus 1500 into sine 3 theta integrate with respect to theta so what will be the value it will be 5000 if you this one 1500 1500 sine 3 theta if you integrate sine 3 theta you will get minus you will get minus cos 3 theta minus cos 3 theta divided by 3 you put the minus here put the minus here so and apply the boundary condition apply the limits 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi so that will give the work done that will give the work done this will be 10,005 10, work done so now we have to calculate the t mean t mean so t mean means what it is work done by theta work done by theta t mean into theta is work done here we are calculating t mean that is work done by theta work done is 10,000 
pi divided by how much theta you have to put here we have taken three cycles that is 120 plus 120 plus 120 so you have to put true pi if you put true pi you will get 5000 5000 newton meter so mean target is 5000 newton meter 5000 newton meter if you draw a line along the central uh, 5000 newton meter you will get a curve like this you will get a line like this so this is a resisting torque or mean torque so produced torque is in the form of curve in the form of curve so now our interest is to find a power how to calculate the power power is equal to 2 pi into by 60 2 pi into by 60 2 pi into n n is equal to how much in this problem 300 rpm so 300 into torque what is the value of t mean it is 5000 5000 divided by 60 it will give the power it will give the power power is equal to 157.157.1 watts right the next step is to calculate the fluctuation in speed fluctuation in speed what is the equation to find the fluctuation in speed delta e is equal to i into omega square into cs this is the equation here you have first you have to find the value of delta e so how to calculate the delta e how to calculate the delta e what is delta e in this problem this value or this value or this value if the fluctuation in energy so any one of the because all are same all are same anyone you can calculate so let us calculate this let us calculate here so here if you want to calculate the area not the area under the total curve for example if you take the curve like this if you take the curve like this the curve is going like this the curve is going like this here we, if you want to find this area what you have to do if you in, uh, integrate this curve if you integrate this curve over the angle of theta to this is 60 degree no this is 60 degree theta to 60 it will give the total area this area also will give we don't want this area we don't want this area we want only this area we want only this area then minus t mean you have to put minus t mean so integrate integrate 5000 plus 1500 sine 3 theta minus t mean that is 500 you apply the limit what is the limit into d theta 0 to pi by 3 that is 60 degree pi by 3 only this this one if you can cancel these two you will get delta e is equal to 1500 this is minus 1500 cos 3 theta by 3 what is the limit apply the limit 0 to pi by 3 you will get delta e is equal to 1000 newton meter 1000 newton meter now apply in this equation apply in this equation if you apply 1000 is equal to 1000 is equal to i i is given in the problem it is 1000 multiplied by omega square what is the speed n is given n is given so i omega square 2 pi into 300 300 2 pi n by 60 the whole square multiplied by cs so from this you can find the value of cs what is the value of cs cs is equal to 0 0.1 percentage in the previous problem the torque was in the form of triangle here it is in the form of curve so whatever it may be the procedure remains same you have to find the area under the curve delta e and cs but you have to use different approach where triangle means you can find the area easily but if it is a curve you have to integrate it so you have to see the angles properly now let us discuss one more problem this problem is something different this problem is something different this is flywheel problem flywheel problem in the flywheel problem how it is working flywheel is working let us discuss now this is motor this is a motor the motor is connected with uh, this wheel this is a shaft this is shaft 
and this is a flywheel the shaft this gear this flywheel also are connected in the same shaft and uh, this gear is connected with this one and uh, this crank is connected with the uh, piston so piston here it is a ram here it is a punch here it is a punch this is a uh, plate the this is die this is die we want to put hole on this plate right so now while when the motor is rotating the crank will be rotating and the punch will be moving up and down up and down here the rotary motion is converted into reciprocatory motion now, the uh, for us the challenge is the piston is or uh, the punch is moving from this portion to this portion this is die this is plate moving from this place to this place while moving it has to apply power only during this period only during this period so in this period because why because here only the plate is there we want to make punch in the plate so power need to be supplied during this portion only but the motor will be generating power continuously the motor will be generating power from this point to this point and this point to this point what we have to do is so we want to apply the motor will be generating here also it will be generating power during this portion in this portion we need not store the energy we need not store the power but the remaining period you have to store <coughs> you have to store in the flywheel and it should be supplied so the what is the amount of power to be stored in the flywheel that is the power generated by the motor during this period and during this period and also return period this is a downward period and the entire uh, upward period and this period as well as this period so this is a delta e so we have to calculate this power and this power and this power that is delta e so during the punching the motor will be supplying some amount of energy that need not be stored in the flywheel so from that once you calculate the delta e you will be able to design the flywheel you will be able to design the flywheel now let us see the problem last problem a machine punching 30 mm hole 30 mm hole the hole is uh, this is a plate the diameter of the hole is 38 this is 38 and uh, thickness of the plate is 32 thickness of the plate is 32 mm the energy required actually the energy required is 7 Yeah, seven per square millimeter. Seven per square millimeter shear area. Punch one hole in ten seconds. Ten seconds, one hole is uh, punched. Calculate the power of the motor. Calculate the power of the motor. The mean speed of the flywheel is twenty-five meter per second. And the punch has a stroke of hundred millimeter. The stroke is hundred millimeter. The downward motion. This is hundred millimeter. Okay. and the cs is also given it is 3 percentage and we have to find the power of the motor power of the motor and mass of the flywheel mass of the flywheel you have to find so first step what we are going to do is we are going to find the area what is the shear area for example if this is a plate here we want to make a hole so what is the shear area this is a shear area see this is a shear area when you see from the top it will be a circular it will be circular then if you take this is a diameter then what is the shear area pi d into t pi d into t pi into what is the diameter diameter is 38 38 and thickness is 32 so this will give the shear area this will give the shear area what is the value 3830 mm square right from that what you can calculate you can find the total energy required total energy required that is e1 let us take e1 total energy required for punching a hole let us calculate already we know it is 7 newton meter of energy per square shear area so that is 7 into multiplied by area you put the area this will give the e1 what's the value of e1 
seven four zero, right? This will be the e one. So from this, you have to calculate the power. This is Newton meter. How much time it takes? Ten seconds. It takes ten seconds. Then power of the motor is equal to two six seven four zero divided by ten time Newton meter per second. That is equal to what? Two six seven four watts, right? So first step you have calculated. You have calculated the power required. That is power of the motor required. That you have calculated. The second step is E one you have calculated. So as we discussed in the problem, during the punching, during the during the punching, the motor must have supplied some amount of energy, right? That energy you have to minus from this, from E one. That will give delta E. What is delta E? Is delta E is the total power minus E two. What is E two? The power supplied by the motor during punching. So first you have to calculate what is the time, how much time it takes during punching. That you have to take totally ten seconds. That uh, how, what is the distance travel? Distance travel travel is two hundred millimeter. Two hundred millimeter. That is torque is equal to hundred millimeter. It is going down as well as up. So two hundred millimeters. So what is the time? Ten seconds. So during punching is only thirty-two millimeters. So for thirty-two millimeter, what is the time? You can calculate how much you have to calculate. That is ten, ten divided by two hundred multiplied by thirty-two. That is equal to one point six seconds. One point. So during punching, the time is one point six seconds. Right? Time is equal to punching time is equal to thirty-two divided by 200 into 10 that is equal to 1.6 seconds so now what is the energy for 1.6 second that you have to calculate that is e2 e2 is equal to power we know right 2676 multiplied by 1.6 that will give the value of e2 that is 4278 4278 newton meter from this you can find the value of delta e delta e is equal to e1 minus e2 that is What is the value of E one two six seven four zero minus four two seven eight? This will give the delta E. Delta E value is two two four six two 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 four six two newton meter. The last step is finding the mass of the flywheel. Already we have here the flywheel speed is given. Flywheel speed is given, but we have equation for delta E. That is I omega square into C S. It is not in the in flywheel speed. It is angular. It it is here. It is in terms of omega, but it is given in meter per second. That is velocity. What is the relation between velocity and uh, uh, omega? We you know I into I. You can write m into k square. M into k square into omega square into C S. What is k square? That is R square. Omega square into C S. R into omega is equal to V. So the equation is m into V square into C S. So here we know delta E. How much delta E is equal to? We have two two four six two. Two two four six two. That is equal to m. That we have to calculate mass of the flywheel. That we have to calculate velocity. That is twenty five. That is twenty five. So twenty five square. Multiplied by CS. What is the value of CS from this? CS is the whole. So we want to calculate the mass, right? CS is given the problem. It is three percentage. Three percentage means zero point zero three. If you put, you can find the mass. You can find the mass. What is the mass? One one nine eight kg. So this is the way you have to solve this problem, right?